Go ahead, pick up your fork. What's stopping you? Not a thing. <laughs> you can't eat a meal while you stare straight ahead. I can. Never thought I'd see the day. A meal should be eaten in peace, not like this. Oh, this won't take long, Maggie. Dale here's gonna break soon. You watch. As soon as he thinks I'm off my guard, he'll make his move. Mighty good ham, Maggie. Can't you see how silly this is? Look, neither one of you want to draw first. Well, then don't finish your meal and then ride off in different directions. Look, Dell here's proved he's no coward, and aside from him calling you yellow, you got no cause to shoot him down. It was just a silly misunderstanding. Can't you see that? I couldn't make Charlie listen. I don't see how I can make you. I know what you're thinking of, Maggie. You're thinking it's about time Ben Morgan got back from town. Oh, that's silly. I wasn't thinking anything. What about thing. Ben? Ben's doing some handy jobs for Maggie. He went into town to get some kerosene. He ought to be back for this. <laughs> Go for your gun and we'll settle it right now. I'm still waiting. You know, there's a pretty little curl right in the middle of your forehead. I'm thinking it'd be a nice spot to aim at. Move your hand down to your gut. Go ahead. Still trying to prod me into making the first move. Now, aren't you, Delaney? Well, both of you shut up and finish your meal. It's getting cold. I have had enough. All right, Maggie, step back out of the way. You might get hurt. Well, at least drink some more coffee. Step back out of the way, I said. Get back, Maggie. Tell I got me an idea. Maggie, what time is it by that old clock? A few minutes till noon. That is a cuckoo clock. I've seen it before. What are you getting at? Just this. Maybe I was wrong when I thought you were so yellow that you'd draw first. Maybe you really were waiting for me. So? So. I don't aim to draw first and wind up with a rope around my neck. Let's begin even. We'll both stand. And then we'll agree that neither of us will draw until that cuckoo bird sticks its neck out of that clock. But when it does, we both hit leather. No, that's crazy. What do you he say, Dell? Makes sense. Nobody draw it till the birdie cries. Oh, Aye. finish your meal. At least take some time to think. Take off your coat. I don't want to have an advantage. Sure, sure. I'll take off my coat. And then you'll draw. No, thank you very much. Suit yourself, laddie. If you stop it, I'll kill him anyway. Well, just one favor, that's all. The crucifix. Let me get the crucifix. It's on the shelf of the clock. Charlie gave it to me the day we were married. A wild bullet might hit it. A wild bullet? This might be wild, not mine. Oh, please let me get it. I won't touch the clock. All right, get it, but make it fast. We don't have much time. Now, get out of the way, quick! Taking so long. Peggy. What time is it? Oh, 
glory be. Oh, thank God. I said, what time is it? It's time to fall on your knees, Red Hillman. Fall down and beg forgiveness. Look at that clock. It stopped. What are you talking about? I don't know, but I can't hear no more ticking of the clock. Less than a minute to go when the clock stops. Oh, Red, Dell, think of it. Can't you see? Stand back! Oh, you won't shoot. You can't. The hand of God stopped that clock. I swear I didn't touch it. Sure, it's strange. You both swore you wouldn't shoot until the bird cried. Well, it ain't ever gonna cry. God stopped it. It ain't ever gonna cry again. Dell? I'm turning around. I won't shoot. You're both men of your word. And I heard you both swear you wouldn't draw till that clock reached noon. Well, the good Lord's gonna hold you to that word. And neither one of you can outdraw him. I'll be riding back to town with you, Dell. The meal's on me, boys. Thanks, Maggie. I'll see you later. I seen out in front, Red Hillman and Delaney. They're both out of them. So? And the talking town says them two are on the prod. You figure they're going to fight it out right out in front? I reckon not. Hey, I told you not to move that. Maggie, the last time I fixed this old clock, I told you it wouldn't run unless it was set on the level. I know. I know. Well, dang it, leave things be, or put it on a shelf that don't tilt. There. Did you get the kerosene bin? Put it in the shed. Then I better start baking your apple pie. That was disappointing, wasn't it? Still, you will be happy to learn that both Dell and Red did die eventually. That very day, in fact. Food poisoning. Maggie's heart was in the right place. She just wasn't a very good cook. And now, let us hear a word or two from our sponsor. A word or two, or three, or four, five, six, seven, 